Are you tired of always seeing the hero do the right thing? Are you annoyed Chris Evans always looks so heroic? Or that the comic Captain America is always right? Well, my friend, hail Hydra and say no more. Welcome to World Breaker Coup's Reviews. I'm your host, World Breaker Coup, and today we're looking at Hydra Supreme Commander Captain America and Arnim Zola. I think I always mispronounce this guy's name. Correct me in the comments uh, if you if I'm pronouncing it wrong. Uh, but this is the two pack I wanted for one reason and one reason alone, and that's the Hydra cap. So we're gonna start by talking about the unnecessary figure that is actually not a bad at all after getting it in hand. Um, so this is Arnim Zola, if I'm pronouncing this right. I don't read a lot of comics with uh, Captain America in it unless he's in the Avengers. Uh, I just never really have, you know, because, I don't know, it's not my thing. Uh, but I do like Captain America and what he stands for a lot. So, there we go. Um, this figure has two different heads. Uh, this one and that one. He was featured in the comic book as well. I'll see if I can find a picture of him in it and show it to you. Um, I like the little remote control thing he has. The head does turn pretty easily. Um, it's just one weird figure i've never seen one quite like this so I, I i like it just because of that the inside face is awesome reminds me of krang if you will and he's got some butt symbols on here that let you know when he's got to go use the restroom so that's kind of cool um his legs look kind of like colossus like it's a retool but i doubt that it's the case um the feet, on the other hand are very old these things are ancient you can tell they're from the original figure but they still work, so that's cool. Uh, I actually like everything about this guy, um, to be honest with you. Uh, I'm not sure which head I prefer. Let's just put that one on real quick so you can see what it looks like. You know, I'm, I'm that type of guy. Yeah, you know, I like that one better. It doesn't look so weird, so let's stick with this head. So we're gonna stick with that head, and I got a whole bunch of members of Hydra up here, um, or people who've worked with Hydra. And that is not the regular Red Skull head. That's the regular Red Skull head from the MCU, but I want a comic-based uh, Red Skull. So that's why I went with that. Now, on to uh, Hydra Supreme, or Captain America. There he is from the comics. The book was Secret Empire. And let me tell you, it, it actually was really good. Um, I don't think he necessarily, Nick Spencer, the guy who wrote the comic, I don't think he necessarily nailed the landing. But it was a good comic, and I think the suit is very accurate to uh, what we see. So just a couple more scenes in here that I'll show you. Well, let's see if I can do that. Um, there he is fighting. Cap with the mask shield down. So yeah, it looks good. Looks good. So right here, you get a very brief picture of Arnim Zola. Um, looking with that strange head that uh, we saw uh, on the figure. So maybe I will put that back on there. Here's another Captain America that I would not mind getting in the Marvel Legend form, even though it's synonymous with the Hell Hydra. Um, I still think it's a great suit. Too bad, so sad. It's a villain suit. But nonetheless, I still like it. But nonetheless, back to the real figure that I really got this uh, set for. The Supreme uh, Leader or Supreme Hydra, Hydra Captain America. Um, and to think all this came because of a little cosmic cube. Where is my cosmic cube? I don't even see it. Here we go. This little thing right here is what caused all this problem. So if you haven't read Secret Empire, um, which I definitely recommend you doing it. Um, but um, th this is an amazing figure, but the biggest problem that you're going to run into is the shield. Um, this is probably one of my favorite parts of the suit. Um, and unfortunately, it's the biggest problem. There's a peg hole here, which you've seen plenty of times before. There is no peg hole in his body for that to go into or plug into. He does have a wrist clip here that uh, is nice and thick, but it feels like it's stressing to try to hold on for dear life. 
Um, I've seen several reviewers talk about this and have broken theirs, uh, trying to get it on there. Um, and the funny thing is, if you look at Taskmaster, he shares, again, the same legs. He shares the same arms, um, different hands, but the legs and the, or the, leg, the lower legs and the arm, uh, the tire arm is the same. So why is this shield able to clip on while the other one feels like it's going to stress out? Well, if you bear with me a minute, I'll show you exactly why we have that problem. So between the two clips we have, one's thicker, that's the Hydra one. Let's see if I can zoom in on that. See that, how thick that is? And the other is a Taskmaster clip that's thinner, okay? You might not be able to tell yet, but keep looking. Now you can see. And possibly different plastics. So I think that's why we're having the problems. Because if you look here, this one will clip on just fine. I said just fine. There we go. And no issues, okay? You hear the nice snap. There is no stress marks at all in this. But... Clipping this one, which I fully have not done yet, which I will not be doing, um, it doesn't quite want to go. And it is feel it really feels like it's bending for dear life. So I kind of just halfway do it. So we'll leave that shield alone for right now. Just know it's a great shield and be very careful with it if you want to actually have Captain America with a shield. Um, the suit itself, I love the gold accent, the belt, nice browns, the browns in the uh, textured legs, upper legs, which looks great. Got some same Taskmaster legs that, unfortunately, I wish I would have painted uh, a little better on there, but it's okay. The arms are the same again, um, except a little bit less paint. This Taskmaster has some serially highlights here. Um, but the chest is new and looks great. Um, I love it. I mean, I absolutely love the chest. Um, and the back just looks so detailed. So I, I see why they didn't put a pig hole in here because that would really mess up some of the design. Um, I do wish we would have got a different head, maybe a head with caps showing his baby blues, um, but it's what it is. Uh, the design is just, again, phenomenal. Um, I think, you know, that they killed it on this. After thinking about this more, I'm going to see if I can show you the picture of his face um, in the comic so you can see what kind of head we should have had. So as you can see, he does have his that part open quite a bit during the fight and when he's talking to the heroes, because otherwise it'd be kind of hard to really see how he's talking. Um, I especially like this clip right here. And this all started over the Cosmic Cube. Uh, someone got the Cosmic, the Red Skull got the Cosmic Cube and basically erased Cap's history and changed it that he was an agent of Hydra. So I won't tell you the ending, so I want you to actually take a look at the book so you can see how, what happened, because it's actually a really good story. And one quick comparison, just so you can see Cap next to the regular comic Cap. Um, and I cannot wait for one for the new Cap that's coming out that looks more like the Alex Ross version. I think it's going to be awesome. Um, this Cap, the standard one that came with uh, the... What wave was that? The... Um, Onslaught Wave is a little bit taller than this cap, but that's okay. Um, I like it. I think they both look good together. And um, I think that this pack is definitely a worthy pickup. So, Hell Hydra, and um, pick this cap up if you can. Thanks for watching. And until next time, peace and Hell Hydra Grease.